Welcome to August winners, losers, and listeners, and most importantly, episode seven of your favorite podcast, Win, Lose, and Listen, with your hosts, Jeremy and Jacob. Uh, today, we'll be covering a variety of things. It's the first of the month. There's a lot to cover, um, but I think the most important thing is uh, that this is a story all about how Jacob broke his mouse playing Apex. All righty, ladies and gents. I guess we kick it off with something sad, exciting, and a whole you know, everything mix else of between. emotions. A whole mix of emotions. So uh, I think it was Friday, Friday night. Um, Jeremy and I were doing what we do, playing some Apex together. You know, our normal routine on a Friday night, and uh, we were playing, and we were coming across this fight. It was the most epic fight you've ever witnessed in your entire life. It was so epic that I broke the left click off my mouse. Now, some as somebody who plays first-person shooters and has played first-person shooters for as long as I can remember, I, I never thought that it would come to where I literally broke the left click can off we, my can mouse. We, can we get some visuals? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those, I got you. Guys. For those ladies and gentlemen watching. As you can see, this is not what a mouse should look like. It is completely screwed. It, it is no longer with us. It is broke, and it, it's not something that Super so, Blue is going to fix. So for you uh, people listening, Jacob's mouse is uh, one piece, the whole back part plus the buttons. And, you know, oh, I mean, a mouse, you don't have much click room. <laughs> there, there's literally maybe, like, a centimeter push down. And this man <laughs> snapped the left click right yeah. off. The whole Snapped it right up. Button. <laughs> so not only that, that was how that all started, and uh, it turned out into an adventure of running my way to Walmart to buy a new mouse, to be here, playing some video games, and sharing some funny moments with y'all. So we have upgraded, new and improved. But regardless, sad times, good time to upgrade, and who knows? Maybe we'll get a new one soon. I, yeah, another new one. <laughs> another new one. Yeah. Like, did you, you ever know. try? Did you ever try putting that um that thing into uh, Corsair? No, I didn't. I totally should try and submit it. But the, how do you, how do you do that? I mean, it's been. That's I've had I'm the saying. mouse for two years. Like, well, like what? Uh, that's true. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be in the department? Like, hmm. Something tells me that this was not our fault. You <laughs> <Right>. know. <laughs> You know, like they cover like, oh, you, they it broke because we manufactured something wrong. They're not going to be like, yeah, I think the left click was on there when he bought it two years ago. You know, I, I just don't think it'll slide. You know, I think so, it was on there. I, yeah, I but think is it that, was on is, there. Would that constitute as like faulty? Fa I don't, I don't know. Well, because, I mean, technically, I mean, it's where. So, what, what's the, what is the, um, what do you call it? The clicks. You know, they tell mouse. Mice these days, they they tell you how many clicks you can get out of that mouse. Right, right. But I don't. When they do that, I don't think they base it off the fucking left click falling off, though. You know, like I don't well, think that's, that's the thing. The hey, maybe <laughs> maybe yours says it's supposed to be like I don't know, seventeen million clicks. I it, I clicked so many uh, times playing times? Apex. <laughs> you, 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 you broke that's it right true. off. It's crazy. Oh well. Regardless, new mouse. New mouse. Um, still getting Jacob. used to it. Still trash. You know, same shit, different day. Check it, it out, twitch.tv slash calorification. Takes a while to get you used to a new mouse. Yeah, you would know, even though you got used to yours already, and you still stomp everybody. But besides the point, Whoa. moving on. <laughs> moving on yes. uh, to something even more exciting and uh, much less funny. So, um, this week's trivia question, or last week's trivia question. I guess that would be better. Right. Uh, last week's trivia question. I'm going to be completely 100% honest with y'all. I have no idea what last week's trivia question was. But what I do know oh, is not a boy. single soul in the world got it right. Let me just uh, magically do some, you know, magical little stuff here. And, uh, ah, got it. Okay, I got remember. Got the trivia question? I got it. 
what is the world record for the all-time highest score in Super Mario Bros? And Jeremy spoiled the hint with it being above a million. So, for those of you that are, you know, just now watching this, didn't see last week's episode and want to try and get this, I'll give you a second to think about that. Your second stop. Jeremy, why don't you go ahead and tell him what that answer is? So, the answer for the last week's trivia question was 1,435,100. Points. That's a big number. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I'm sure a lot of people had no clue how Super Mario Bros. was scored, and I'll be completely honest. Yeah, I didn't did you? know either. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that. And uh, for those of you that were keeping and paying attention to Frankie or listening for him, he appeared at roughly 46 minutes and 16 seconds into the video. If you saw him, congratulations. Unfortunately, nobody saw him and got the trivia question correct, so nobody wins a $10 gift card. Sad emoji. But stay tuned for the rest of this hey, video. All you guys where gotta do Frankie... is try. Just watch it. Try. I, I mean, that's all you gotta do. We'll give you the ten dollars. I will give you ten dollars for free. <laughs> F R E. That's all you gotta do. But that remember, look for Frankie this episode. He will be scattered. Or listen. Or listen. Listen for him. You'll hear listen him. For him. He's very distinct. He's loud. He's... Exactly. He's very. Uh, you can't miss him. You can't. You really can't. Just wait for him to pop in and say hello. That's all I got to say, you know? That's all I got to say. All right, so uh, let's let's move on to our first category for this evening. Category. Morning. Whenever you're listening. Good morning. Hmm. Um, we're going to go into free games. Free! Free. free. Um, I guess I'll let Jacob cover the Xbox because he's more of the Xbox person anyways. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Did, did so, you have a PS3? Nah, I did. Yeah, actually, it's oh, still in my you? closet. Oh, it's really? Still in my closet. PS4? I have a modded PS3. No, I know a PS4. Modded? Yeah, I got a jailbroken PS3 and a JTAG a Xbox minute. in my closet. You still have uh, a PS3 that yeah. is probably running, what, 3.55? Like, the first yeah. firmware that was ever able to be jailbroken? <laughs> yeah. It's oh, old. It's in the closet. God. Just in there. It's probably would still work if I plugged it in, but probably. all those servers are shut down. So oh, yeah. sad I mean, time. Yeah. Yeah. And then from there, everything got more secure. I mean, you can't really do, you could do stuff on the PS4, but you can't do stuff online on the PS4. Right. Yeah. Well, that's, so, that's the problem. None of, none of your cheeky shit, boys. No money drops in GTA 5 online. Okay. You listen, you hear me? I'm watching you. Okay. Anyways, moving on to the Xbox games, because I guess I'm the Xbox guy. Okay. Whatever. You could be the Xbox. First, I am the Xbox guy. First game looks dumb as shit, but let's review it. <laughs> Look at it. First impressions make the me want to. The name just in general just started off, and once I added it, and like <laughs> it was just it was I, I downhill. Just I just downhill from there. Like what the fuck is this well, shit? We're covering it for you guys, for you Xbox people out there. This is the kind of shit that y'all get on Xbox. No respect. I mean, what? Seriously? No disrespect. All right, the game for those of you actually listening, Calico, which. It's about cats, if you fucking couldn't tell, based off the name. About the cat lady. Um, cat lady. Crazy Calico the cat lady. Calico is a day-in-the-life community sim game. Oh my god, it's the Sims but cats. <laughs> where you were given an important and adorable task. Rebuild the town's cat cafe. Oh my god. Imagine Starbucks, but for Garfield? That's crazy. And fill it with cute and cuddly creatures who will journey to a small village filled with magical girls. Ooh, Jeremy. Magical girls. <laughs> yeah, no, Much I'm girl. good. <laughs> Sorry, Another I'm not a cat person. Friends. We are placing charge of a rundown cat cafe. Build your cafe by filling it with cute furniture and fun decorations, yummy pastries, and get it bustling with animals again. It's free on Xbox Gold, uh, August 1st through August 31st. So if it's something you're into, you shouldn't be. But if you are, I respect it. It's fine. Hey. If you're into the cats, I ain't judging. Do you? Right? Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of cats here and there, you know? You know, you know, you know? Yeah, exactly. You want to back and forth this shit, or do you want me to discover them all? Um, I gotta enter, hold on, I gotta enter my birthday before I can even look at the photos. Oh my god, Jeremy, are you old enough? I, damn. Apparently not. You don't look a day over 12 and a half. Wow, that, that's really, um, I, I definitely have to be over a certain age for this. Um, so the oh next God, that's game that's on gold is called Scourgebringer. Uh, it is a platformer game, uh, single player, 
uh, so free with gold days. between August 16th to September 15th. Um, wow. This That's a weird is time. Uh, an interesting one. It looks... You can say it. Be honest. Tell them what they want to hear. It looks... I mean, tell them what they need to hear. I mean, I don't know. It looks like graphics from Sonic back in the day. No, the Sonic is an upgrade from this shit. This shit looks like... It's just the art style. No, this shit looks like somebody put Temple Run and put it in 2D. You know what's funny is every... I, I see this for every game. It's just it's just so bad. They have, like, this badass intro. Like, it's animated, badass no, intro. The badass intro. And the game yeah. is just shit. <laughs> The the in like the video is like you know I mean I don't know. It reminds me it, the first thing that I saw about when it was something like that was um uh what's that uh, League of Legends. Um, what does yeah, League you, of Legends have to do with platforming two D games? No, no, I'm talking about the intro. Oh, okay. or the or like, the like the advertisement shit, whatever you want to call it. They. They had this badass animated freaking that's like, video for the game. That's like comparing Mario to fucking Call of Duty. Like, oh my god, I saw this Mario intro and it made me think of Call of Duty. Like, no. What? How this fucking works? Who said what anything about that? How did I compare I that? did. I don't know. Not, it's like the concept of comparing this to League of Legends. Like, no. I don't even like League of Legends, but that is so disrespectful. No, it's the way that the so game is played. Have you seen the League of Legends freaking video? No, I have not seen. Okay, I mean, maybe I have. Hold but on, it's I'll show it. I'll Legends. show it up for you, so we can all, right, all so we can all see watching. it. Otherwise, tune in, listen. You have no clue what we're actually going through, but that's perfectly fine. All right. All right so, the League of Jeremy's Legends YouTube history. The League of Legends animation. It's kind of sussy, sussy baka. Whoa, sussy baka. Is it League of Legends? I'm pretty sure. It's oh, League of Legends. see, now now suddenly I'm not the dumbass. Suddenly, I'm not the dumbass. No, oh, here okay. we go. Here's something. Here's one. I don't know if that's League of Legends there, homeboy. It's right here. League of Legends. Can we get that Season in, like, Season 2022 so cinematic. How does this look anything like this? I'm not saying it looks like it. I'm saying the concept of the video looking freaking badass and the game oh, just being oh. shit. <laughs> So you mean like Battlefield and like Cyberpunk 20? Like, look, look at this battle. Like... No, you don't. No, no, no. None of this gets in the game. No. So this badass fucking video, and then this is the League of Legends gameplay. That's what we get for League of Legends. This is what we get. <laughs> wow, I love it. I that looks right. amazing. Yeah. It's it's so great. I would definitely want to play League of Legends now. Damn, League of Legends. For all you League lovers, Jeremy's the one disrespecting you, not me, for the record. I'm not just disrespecting like you. I just don't not like the head. game. Cut the video in half. There's right. plenty of it. There's plenty of games that do the exact same thing. Which is, I named a few. Just Battlefield and yeah, Cyberpunk. Exactly. And exactly. Um, I'm like, anyways, Vanguard. I'll read the uh, description for you guys so you can get maybe a little bit better of a um visual in your head of what it is um set in a po post apocalyptic world where mysterious entity about to say pokemon what continue you were about to say pokemon the mysterious what post -ap no <laughs> i just messed up on post apocalyptic oh you were going to say post malone post malonic <laughs> no. he's no, got post wasn't. malone on the mind and boy 101 boys it's okay yeah. don't even sweat it Continue. uh where mysterious entity wreaked havoc on all humanity scourge bringer puts you in the shoes of the deadliest warrior of her clan kira help her to explore the unknown and slash her way through ancient machines guarding the seal of her past and maybe the redemption of humanity you know what game this reminds me of um super meat none. boy Yes, sort of, yeah. The art style. I could definitely see that. And the fighting the machines and shit like that. The platform. Right. It's kind of like a platforming shit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. that is on Xbox. <laughs> I Sorry. I three with gold. <laughs> well, bless you. Three with gold. God bless me.
I'm so blessed. Uh, exciting one for Jacob. Oh, and there goes Jacob. His camera died? What happened? No, oh. Jacob died. <laughs> Jacob died. Don't even sweat it. Jacob's here. Oh, okay. I know you missed me. Y'all missed me. I know y'all love me. I know you love me. <laughs> anyways, anyways, continue. continue. No, no, you continue. So let me just point out this. So each week we write a script, right? So usually we try to write a definition or description <laughs> for the game. So I just want to point out, I want to read to you guys what this next one says. So the game is Saints Row 2. And that's from August 1st to August 15th. You got 14 days to play the game for free if you got gold. The description of the game per Jeremy, not per the game, per Jeremy is, come on, everybody knows Saints Row. And that's a quote. And I quote that that's what it says. Not like th this is great. This is what if I don't know what Saints Row is? Uh, I know God. you know what Saints Row is. Useless here. God. Anyways, <clears throat> there's not even an actual description for this fucking game. That's Do you really I need a description for the game though. No, it's you just can about explain. To, I mean, you know. What's not to I mean, am I old enough to play this game? No, I'm not. You know, how dare I be logged in and it tell me that I'm not fucking old enough? Like, you have it my It was birthday. the same you thing with Steam my... for some reason. I don't understand. You have it. my... You have my debit card. How am I not of age? Come on, people. Anyways. Like a budget GTA 5 game is basically, you know, oh, the vibe. Wow. Yeah. That's harsh. Yeah, well. A budget GTA. It's kind of what it is. Sorry, I said it. I mean, you could do everything it, it, in Saints Row that you can do in GTA. Everything's pretty much the same about it. Yeah. The only difference is uh, they should have made this game better instead of just making it on the Xbox One because... Whatever, well, they, anyways. They, they did. Not, the Saint, not Saints Row 2. They didn't make like a definitive or enhanced edition or anything. Right. But the new Saints Row is coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not Saints Row 2. No, it's not. Exactly. That's Just what I'm saying. Saints hey, Saints Row's coming out before GTA, so that, that's all I'm saying. Hey, now. No arguing. No. Not, hey, now. No. Listen here, buddy. I'm not taking comments I'm at this time. I am hype as shit for this new GTA. And I mean, there's been so many leaks. Right. When it comes it, out in about three years. Wow. Jeremy, I'm going to fucking mark this on my calendar this day, right? Yep. And when the game comes out, I'm going to take a copy the physical copy of like the case like the xbox case with like the digital code inside of it because we like wasting plastic uh -huh. i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna smack you with it for saying that okay that's it that's all i gotta say i'm gonna smack you upside the head when it, it comes out in three years when it, when it comes out in three yeah i'm gonna just personally smack why would you smack me now, now guys i want to also mention that jeremy has now went back and edited the script for the description for Saints Row and has I and I quote, <laughs> added quotes around what I quoted. I know he's very special. We love him, but you know, just I'll let Jeremy cover this next Shut up. Because I'm gonna blow my nose in three seconds because I'm sick of fucking allergy season. Oh boy. Uh so the next one is called Monica What's Yours Is Mine. Which Jacobs is mine. Say my name, say my name. Uh, it's an action adventure game. Uh, top view, 2D. Damn, these games suck. I they do. Like what? Is, I'm, I'm sorry. Xbox, you are what? getting screwed over. These things. Oh. Tune in later. There are some cool games that are coming for sales, but there's nothing good that's coming for free. No, they all look not like epic games. Crappy. Epic games got some cool stuff. Yeah, I know. Stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah, assemble a crack team of thieves. That's literally the description. Crack assemble team. a crack team of thieves and execute like the perfect crack. crime. Sneak, steal, and run for your lives in single player or with up to four friends in local or friends. online co-op. Find out Best why it won three. 2010 IGF Grand Prize. Oh my god, 2010? No shit. Wow, That's somebody crazy. actually some Rev Three Games says quite possibly the best co-op ever. 
Well, I guess Jeremy will have to tell me how he thinks of, or what he thinks of that. And that was in 2010, though. <clears throat> oh. Well, that's not much to compare to, then. No. That's not fair. No, no, no. I don't even know where you read that, but that's okay. Love it. Okay. It happens. You either love it or you hate it, and I certainly did not like it. I am full-fledged with this DS Point Blank guy. DS Point Blank, if you're listening to this, I love you. And I love you like a brother, because that is that is some shit right there. That That is the like epitome of every single thing we say on this channel, because it's just... What is? You either love it or you hate it. I don't like it. Oh, look at that. Look at Jeremy pulling out what looks like Super Smash Bros., but I can't really tell. Yes, so this is Xbox Game Pass. Things that are Ooh. coming to Game Pass. Before we cover the PlayStation, we're going to stick with the Xbox theme right now. Um, first game on the list. <clears throat> this is coming in August. Um, they don't have a specific date, like for when it's supposed to come out. Yep. Oh, August Xbox. 4th. Sorry, never mind. Oh. August 4th. That's the wrong number. August 4th is when it's going to be on Game Pass. It is called Turbo Golf Racing. It literally looks exactly like Rocket League. Well, you know, it's kind of like that other game that somebody tried making. Who was that roller game? Roller Champions or whatever the sort was? Yeah. Remember? Yep. Yeah. You know, there was already a post that said um, that that was going to be canceled. Like... That just released, and there was already a post that said they were going to stop developing it. Seriously? Already? Yeah. Not not from the developers, but somebody who's speculating. I don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. I don't know. It's kind of hard. There's already competition. I mean, Rocket League's fucking huge. It's I mean, it's hard to it's hard to beat Rocket League when. Oh, Rocket I forgot. League Rocket is League still... isn't even on Steam. I know they got took it off. X or Epic Games exclusive. Yeah. So yeah. You... Yeah. Um. Very much golfing. It's Rocket League golfing rather than Rocket League soccer. Which, honestly, I'm surprised Rocket League doesn't have. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Different modes. I mean, they have basketball, they have hockey, and soccer, but they don't have golf. Golf. Yeah. Well, somebody Good stole the room. idea. Sorry, Rocket League. Somebody already got it. You can't nah, come it on. now. No, nah, no. Nah. They, they'll, <laughs> they'll come up with it and just rename it. Instead of turbo golf racing, they'll call it, like... Golf car. Golf car. I can see car. it now. Okay. Golf car. Not golf cart. Don't get them confused. Golf car. Gotcha. All right, moving on to the next uh, Xbox game, because Xbox games are amazing. Ooh. Anyways, um, we got Two Point Campus. Um, It's a uh, roller... Co it's a roller coaster. Uh, wait, what the fuck am I rating? Oh, I we all know. love games like Roller Coaster Tycoon and The Sims, which let us live out our ambitions to be the benevolent gods controlling every aspect of play pe of people's lives. Damn, that's deep, Jeremy. Did you copy and paste this? No. Be honest with me. You really didn't. No, wait. You had to. There's no fucking way you came up with that. Regard. I mean, Says you don't even know who. what the word benevolent means. <laughs> Come on. The, can I get a Says definition who? for benevolent without cheating? Hey, Siri, what's the definition of benevolent? You really want the definition? Well-meaning and kindly. Right, kind. That is the dumbest shit I think I've ever heard. <laughs> that is the dumbest... Welcome to the English like, language. Regard well, fuck the English language. I'm gonna become Spanish. <laughs> Coming soon. Uh, Have whatever fun. I took four years of Spanish. Four or five years of Spanish and still don't know anything. Five years of Spanish? God, you're a slow learner. Not five consecutive years, but you know, when you're in freaking middle school, you know, that amount of time. One class per day. I don't know if you could call that five years worth of Spanish. You know what I mean? Well, I took anyway. five school years worth of Spanish. I'll say it that I way just, instead. Five school years worth of Spanish. Anyways, looks like a uh, like uh, a like a sim style game. It, it, it's basically you, you make like a college campus, I guess. It's made by the same people that made Two Point Hospital, where you design a hospital. Seems like they're just you know doing that thing that game developers do, where they just change push the out the same game, change the fucking theme behind it. 
instead of roller coaster tycoon, it's going to be water park tycoon, you know, over and over, water you know, whatever. Park water park. Anyways, uh, releasing on uh, Xbox Game Pass August 9th. So August a little bit 9th. after the other one. August 9th. Mark your calendars. That's nine days from now. Yeah. Keep it in mind. Nine days. Uh, so this next game actually looks quite um, better than no. any of the other ones we've been uh, covering kidding. so far. Called Midnight Fight Express. This is a single player only. Is game. it? A- um, of course, all but, the good games tend to be single player. Yeah, only. I know, right? It's an action always... beat em up. Um, beat em up! Beat em up. Beat it up, beat it up. Okay, so first rule of Midnight Fight Express is do not talk about Midnight Fight Express. Oh, you already broke the first rule. Damn. Damn, bro. Yeah. All uh, right, guys. 3D action See you next brawler. time. <laughs> uh, Jeremy and I are both gonna go to prison. We broke the rules. I apologize. If you don't, if you don't see us next, hear us next week. You know why? It's because Jeremy didn't write the script. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, here we go again. A 3D action brawler developed by Jacob Dwisnell alone. It's not my last name. Clarification. No. Not glorification. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I made the joke first. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty much a fighting game. You're in a fight club, different locations. Different we don't talk weapons. about fight club. Did you not watch fight club? I, you don't talk about fight club. That's rule number one of fight club. You I'm, don't talk about I'm fight club. I'm not talking about it. This is a different you fight, just club. Said fight club. You just but said I'm fight not, club. Yeah, but I didn't say the full thing. I didn't say the true one. Okay, fair enough. Continue. So it's a former member of the criminal underworld is lured back into the life by a mysterious drone claiming that they have until sunrise to prevent a citywide criminal takeover. So it is still a story style game, but it's a beat em up. Sexy this food. Person, this person, Jeremy, is uh, talking about Fight Club. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye. All right, where were we? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, Jacob, what was, what was that phone call about? Nothing. I have no clue what you're talking about. I was uh-huh. just, I, I just, yep. they were telling you about my uh, colonoscopy results. I mean, oh, I so you. yeah, okay. it was a very important call. I had to take it. Colonoscopy. Gotcha. Okay. colonoscopy. Well, anyways, August 23rd is when it's on Game Pass. Again, Midnight Fight Express. Mm, Midnight Fight Express. Next one up, my kind of game. You know what I mean? Not really, just another fucking story game, but it's cool, anyways. Immortality. Immortality. Can't even find it on Steam. Immortality. Wonderful. It's on here. Not on Steam. Immortality. Right no, here. I couldn't find it. No, it's not on there. I have it up I... right now. No, bro, I literally looked. That's it right there. D- oh, there it is. Hey, I found it. Wow, took you long enough. Whoa, nudity or sexual content. Jeremy, I'm not trying to get banned on YouTube. God. Banned. Oh, please. I'm literally on the Steam page right now. There is nothing. Then why does it say nude or sexual content? Hmm? Um, That's in the game. Oh, fair. Anyways, if you like sexual content, boy, oh, boy, <laughs> do I got the game for you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's coming out. Just kidding. Game what pass. is this trailer though? On a real note, like this looks because like it's shit. Because it's yeah, it's well supposed to be a narrative driven game. I can read. Thank you. That's not my point. This doesn't even look good compared to like the quarry that we looked at. This looks like trash. I know. I don't know. Regardless, anyways, for those of you playing on Xbox, uh, it's a uh, story game developed alongside Netflix. Uh, by former, si- former Silent Hill developer Sam Barlow, following an actress who appeared in three lost films. Players must discover the fate of one Marisa Marcel. That's that lady right there. Marisa. Um, Marisa. 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 Oh, na na. Just kidding. And why the films never saw the light of day. The game has not been out just yet, so Game Pass owners will love their first access to the game. I won't tell on you this time, Jeremy, I promise. Coming to Game Pass on August 30th, which is weird that we're talking about this now, but August 30th, mark your calendars. Coming to Game Pass. 
coming to a Game Pass screen near you. You know, Jeremy, no no lie here. Mm-hmm. Why does PlayStation get the cool games? Like, looking at the next one, this next I one know. looks sick. I know. I, that's like, what I'm... Like, uh, talk about Xbox is slacking. Uh, Microsoft's slacking. I know. Well, it's because, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's because I played all these nostalgia games as a kid that I just missed them, but it's like, what the heck? No, oh, even the next one after that, that we're going to be talking about. Um, but anyways, first game coming to PlayStation Plus for August, we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Cross-Gen Deluxe Edition. Tony Hawk's likes to skateboard. Oh, Jacob disappeared again. Uh, if you already own the PS4 digital version of the game, you can get the PS5 digital Yo, version. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, folks. If I sneeze one more goddamn time, I might murder somebody. And it might be myself. <laughs> it might be myself. But I swear to God, if I sneeze one more... Like, I sneezed so hard, my hat went crooked. You see this shit? Like, that shit's crazy. So, so the bundle includes anyway, one and two and a copy for PS4 and PS5 versions of the game. So you can get it on PS4 or you know, PS5. Either one. Saying that is like, I don't know. I don't, even, I don't even know what I'm going to say. I, I don't either. But with the deluxe edition, you get the Ripper skater from Powell Peralta. Okay. That cool. was my nickname in high school. Powell Peralta? No. Or the Ripper. The Ripper. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, another thing you get is a unique the retro Ripper. outfit for Tony Hawk, Steve Cabello. Cab- Cabello. Cab- I'm not gonna lie, this trailer kind of sucks. Dude. I don't know what that says. Caballero. Why is there like no images? And like, Rodney three Mullen. Images of the dude in the air. I don't know. Unique retro it, content it, for the create a skater mode as well. That's dumb as fuck. Why is there no, I mean, is it just the X? Is there something on PlayStation? Because there ain't shit on this. There ain't goddamn thing on here. Oh, there's actually a trailer on here. Sorry, Xbox. You're oh. just trash. Oh, I clicked Mother of Pearl. Good. They actually let a PlayStation exclusive go to Xbox, by the way. Just noticed that. Yeah. What the hell is in my head? I can feel like I'm dead and I'm not to so Woke up on a plane. Backwards hat, boys. It's time. We're playing Tony Hawk. What? I'm turning your volume down. Bro. I don't even got it cranked, bro. I got a half volume. Looks like I got to turn down the whole thing. Looks cool. Looks like most of the Tony Hawk games. I mean, they were a fun game regardless, so. But hey, it's Tony Hawk. Come on. It's Tony Hawk, bro. You like skateboarding? Is this? is this on P- Play PC or is it only on Xbox um, and PlayStation? I don't believe it's on PC. So lame. How are you gonna give it to Xbox before you give it to PC? That's so hurtful. Yeah, I don't yeah, think it is PC. Only on Xbox. Yep. How are you gonna give it to Xbox before you give it to PC? Come on, PlayStation, what you doing? That hurts. That shit hurts. That shit hurted. That shit hurted. That shit hurted, bro. Alright, Little Nightmares is the next game. I think I think I remember looking at this game at some point. I own it. You, I played it. Oh, you own this game. It is on PC. Yeah, I see. That's the trailer I'm looking at. Anyways. No, no, no. Not, not, not Little Nightmares. Pro Skater. Pro oh. Skater's on PC. Is it? How much yeah. is it? You can literally go to, um, if you go to, uh, Tony Hawk Gate, TonyHawkTheGame.com and go to the content, you can actually, uh, see. You can get the Deluxe Edition or you can get the Regular Edition on none other than. Epic Games. Oh, okay. What a surprise. What, what a surprise. Uh, forty nine ninety nine For the deluxe or the standard? Deluxe. Oh, okay. It's not bad, actually. Huh. No, it's not. Cool. Anyways, moving on. Jeremy's sidebarred, per usual. Oh, Jeremy's got a ghost behind him. The ghost what? of Tony Hawk's past. Too soon? Wait. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, well, no. Tony Hawk's not dead. You can't, you can't kill him that easily. <laughs> Little Nightmares, a ferociously well-designed horror puzzle game. This is Jeremy and I's cup of tea. Stay tuned. 
Little Nightmares is the month's cool indie game for the surface. Developed by Tar C or Two Studios, it's a two and a half D platformer to intricate levels and filled to the brim with charm for those seeking a more brainy way to spend their gaming time. An adaptation of this game is being worked on by Anthony and Joe Russo of Avengers Endgame. Interesting. Yeah. Highly recommend this game if you enjoyed Limbo or Inside. Oh, I love it. Does the look game. Like a cool it game. was a really good I'm game. Really, I'm not really sure what two and a half D means though. Two and a I mean, half. I know what it means, but. So two and a half D is technically so it's a side scroller type game, but it also because it's also three D is like where you can actually like move up and down a little bit rather than only side to side. That's what two and a half D means. So Mario's two and a half D. Um, based off your description, no Mario's Mario is three D. Mario is not three D. Which, which Mario are we talking about? The original? No, that's 2D. Like, but based off what you just said, left and right, up and down, that's 2.5D. No, no. What the fuck? You can't go up and down in Mario. You can only go left yes, and right. You can? Yes, you can jump. I'm not talking yeah, about jumping. I'm, talk <laughs> I'm talking about walk. I'm talking about duh. walking left and right, you, you bro. Duh. You can jump. I'm talking well, about. I don't know about you, Jeremy, oh my but I've never jumped left and right. Like I'm not that. Like I don't just. No, I don't mean that. Hold on. No, I'm pulling. Up, I'm pulling this up so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. I looked at the trailer. Yes. So if you watch it, if, if you if you actually watched it, see how he can move like left and right, where he doesn't have to like jump over things. It's mostly a platformer, a 2D platformer. But you can move in different directions. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. No problem. Thank I mean, you. Jacob's too Thank stupid you. to no. understand. So, no. And moving I, on I, to I, the uh, the next game. Uh, next game we have here is uh, Yakuza. What are you? Give me like eighteen minutes. To search for the game, 18 minutes. To search for the game, Jeremy struggling. I'm not struggling. For the game. I don't know what the I'm hell struggling. you're doing. I don't know what you're I'm doing over there. I am living my best life. Oh, God. Here. Sorry, I'm not of age. I know. That's why we're friends. Because I'm like 12. Don't look Whoa. at me. Whoa. Like Whoa. Don't look at me like that. Whoa. But PS4 is getting a lot um demonetized. A lot better games than uh Xboxes. One hundred percent. Yeah. I mean this this just looks like a cool little punchy punchy game, you know? Yeah. You ever played um I can't sleeping dogs. No, I've never played with a sleeping dog. They nobody's usually wake talking, up at night. Nobody's talking about sleeping with a dog. I didn't say sleeping with dogs. I've slept with dogs all the time. <laughs> They're comfy. Okay, demonetized. Demonetized. Yo, damn, this shit gruesome as fuck. Look at this shit. The dude just got his head beaten to an air conditioner. Yeah, that's Yakuza for that's you. That's probably... That's how Jeremy feels. This is not Yakuza. Yakuza, Yakuza's got some funny moments Sleeping too. Dogs. This is what how Jeremy feels after he leaves work every day, <laughs> like beating his head into an air conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he feels. But Yakuza's got a lot of funny moment stuff too. Yeah, um, I like funny moments. Like funny it's little good. things you can do. There was one where it's something about a chicken. I don't know. It, it's a, just a it's just a cool game, Yakuza. You see that? I would definitely look it out. You yeah, freaking check it out. Look it out. Yeah. Um, look it out. PS4 coming to PlayStation Plus. Yes, I did just say PlayStation. 
Jacob's over here looking at freaking like playing little games while we're trying to do a podcast and he just like uh, it's it, whatever's like, on Google. I'm just looking at it. Like I don't it's know cool. what the hell is wrong with him. Um because <laughs> he's technically supposed to be covering the next section for you guys, but right, unfortunately I'll just I'll just mute him for you guys and I'll just uh I'll just talk for you. Cause uh yeah. Oh, All right. He's still playing Next around up. over there. Next up. Games we have on sale this coming week. Um, I don't necessarily think I got 20. But get close doesn't to 20. doesn't matter. The max is 20. Get close to 20. The max is 20. That's the max. That's the max? That's the max. That's a meme for you guys. Anyways. Uh, first up, we have F1. Oh, well, I guess let's rewind here. First up, we have Steam games. Uh, starting off with game number one. F1 22. 10% off, $59.99, all the way down to $53.99, and that is until August 6th. WWE 2K22, 35% off, $59.99, down to $38.99, and that ends August 4th. Car Mechanic Sim 2021. So for those of you that got the free 2018 that we talked about a couple episodes ago and liked it, you want one that's a little newer, but you don't want to pay full price, 25% off, $24.99. Not a bad deal. 1874, which is a weird percentage, but I guess it's 25 percent off. So, right. Uh, we have PGA Tour 2K21. For those of you that don't know, PGA means golf. Uh, 75 percent off, which is a lot actually. 59.99 all the way down to 14.99. Wow. Uh, next up, we have for the king. 70 percent off. Jeremy and I both played this. We actually both enjoyed this. I think Jeremy actually gifted it to me when it was I last did. on sale. Yep. It's for fun. the exact same price, I think too. 5.99. Yeah. yeah. It's a fun little RPG game. Down to five ninety nine. It was fun. I'd play it again. And that also ends August 4th. Battlefield 2042. 50% off. It's so bad that it's 50% off and it hasn't even been out a year yet. Crazy. Has it been out a year yet? No, it hasn't. Um, I think so. Has it? Was it 2021 or 2020? I think it was... was wow, it now year? I can't remember. No, I th- no it was last it year. Was it was last year. Yeah. But I think it was yeah, like yeah, more in just... like the beginning of the year. No, it was November 2021. Because I bought the gold edition, which gave me like a week early I could play it, and it was trash, and it still is trash. Sorry, guys. But 50% off if you want to try playing it. Oh, no, it came out 2020. Yeah, November. Well, Imagine putting in a game that's not even a year old yet. Like, it's only like eight months old, and you're already 50% offing it. Yes. Yeah, but, well, f- yeah, I guess 50% off, yeah. Is. But the same thing with uh, some of these other games. For a f- new game. Yeah, I but mean, a new WWE game is a 2K2022. That's fair. You're at That's 35% fair. off. That's fair. That's true. And the, yeah, and F1. But I'm not argue. I'm not arguing that you that Battlefield 2042 is trash because I, I'm. I, that's not true. How am I trying to say this? I'm agreeing. I'm still agreeing, I'm agreeing that, that, it's that it trash. is trash. It is trash. One hundred percent. I agree with. Glad we got trash. that on the same page. Next up, another game Jeremy and I played together. It takes two. 50% off as well. $39.99 down to $19.99. Jeremy and I actually got this when it was on sale last time. Um, only one person needs to buy it out of the two people. The other Which one downloaded great. the demo. It's cool. So, so you're getting it for 50%. You're, you're playing two people are playing it, pretty much owning the game. So you're getting 50% off there So because only one person has to own it. You're getting another 50% off. How can you not that's, take that deal? It's like hundred percent off. <laughs> <laughs> Only that's how math works. Each person anyway, pays ten dollars. Ten dollars. I don't know if I can afford that. I, I mean, you, on uh, if you can't afford it, why not just answer the trivia question? Oh my God, you're right. Right? That's crazy. And then you can get your copy of It Takes Two for free. Free. And that ends August 11th. Next up, Star Wars Battlefront 2, 60% off. Really fun game. I only played it on console. Never actually played it on PC, but on sale. 60% off, $39.99 down to $15.99. And that's also August 4th. Next up, Microsoft Store, which is kind of combined with the Xbox Store. Uh, You know, uh, first up, Rainbow Six Extraction. Also a pretty new-ish game. It's actually probably, has it been, it's been about a year now since that one. Extraction? Pretty sure. Oh no, that's new, new. No, that that's January, new. Yeah, yeah, right? no, that's yeah. Holy shit! Right, fifty percent off for a new game. 
forty nine yeah. ninety nine down to twenty four ninety nine. And unfortunately, uh, like Jeremy mentioned earlier, Xbox doesn't like giving dates to when shit ends, which is so dumb. But uh, get yeah, it while it's hot because I don't unfortunately know when it will go away. Right. Next yeah, up, another right city game, City percent off. Call of Duty Vanguard, fifty nine ninety nine down to twenty nine ninety nine. And I'm speaking in the general public because I actually really enjoyed Vanguard. But regardless. Um, <laughs> Next up, Tiny Tina's Wonderland. He keeps trying to convince me to buy it. To forty to four nine nine. It's thirty dollars off. You get an Xbox and twenty five percent off. It's but this game. is the Microsoft it's Store, so it's not even worried about Xbox. It's for both. That's true. Yeah. Halo Infinite campaign only because the multiplayer of Halo Infinite is free. Thirty three percent off. Fifty nine ninety nine down to forty dollars and nineteen cents. And then we have Lego Star Wars. The Skywalker Saga, also a new-ish game, but that's only twenty five percent off. Fifty nine ninety nine down to forty four ninety nine. Then we have Forza Horizon Five, twenty percent fifty nine ninety nine down to forty seven ninety nine. NHL twenty two fifty nine ninety nine down to nineteen seventy nine. Then we have Madden NFL twenty two seventy five percent off. I don't know why all these sports games are coming like really high percentage off. I'm not sure. I mean, it's it's the one that came out last year, so yeah, I don't know. A way out, uh, twenty nine ninety nine down to seven dollars and forty nine cents. That is seventy five percent off. Um, so yeah, um, that's all the games I have for sales. I'm sure there are a lot more, but these are just some of the um more popular games that people may want to uh, play with. Um, that are coming to Microsoft Store and Steam. Um, obviously, grab them while you can for Xbox and PC, because I'm not sure when some of them will end. Um, so we'll just have to play it by ear. Right. Um, Unfortunately. Again, to just some news, some general good loving news. I'll let Jeremy kick it off, because he is my news anchor today. I'm the news anchor. All about that good news. All right, so uh, first, what we're going to talk about is uh, something that's been going on for actually the past few years since COVID started, uh, which everybody, I mean, I was mad about all this stuff, too. Uh, we're talking about chips here, like um, GPU. Potato? Like, no, not potato chips. Uh, CPU chips and uh, GPU chips and all, all that kind of jazz. Um so the House Senate had uh, had been debating um, giving more funding to create these, these chips. Um, it was it's actually two hundred eighty billion dollars. That's a lot of money um, from Congress itself. Um, great news for companies like Intel. It recently delayed its groundbreaking ceremony for its uh, twenty billion dollar chip making faculty. Facilities in Ohio because of the lack of government funding. Uh, but yeah, so the Congress voted to approve the funding for the Chips Act. That's what it's called. Um, okay. A quote from uh, Intel CEO um, Pat Gelsinger said, uh, "This is a critical step to support the entire U.S." semiconductor industry and to help ensure continued american leadership in semiconductor manufacturing and r d congress has done its part and now we are going to do ours i ex i'm excited to put shovels in the ground as intel moves full speed ahead to start building in ohio so they're going to build a plant in ohio and jacob is playing tetris now fantastic <laughs> Um, you know, Jacob, everybody can see that, right? Yeah, I got they, they you. Got they see you playing Tetris, so. That's okay. I'm, I'm over so you better here. not I'm lose. For everybody here. Yeah, yeah. There's no, um, pressure, guys. no pressure, As reported by The no Verge, pressure. the Chips and Science Act passed in a 243 to 187 vote. So 243 people said hey, yes. Fuck. 187 hey, said no. Uh, that was on actually July 28th, so a few days ago, and it includes $52 billion in subsidies. Um, so it's going to encourage chip manufacturers to keep going, to create new ones, uh, keep creating factories so they can get the 
chips created faster and actually give us the GPUs and the CPUs and all of that and stuff. Everything, literally for everything. E for everything. For consoles, for desktop PCs, like you have Xbox and PS5. They, I mean, they all have chips in it. Um, I fucked up. So, hopefully we see some more improvements in the, uh, the, the graphics card and, and uh, CPU um, industries and uh, see what happens. Um, moving on to our next topic while Jacob plays Tetris. Um, we're going to go here. over the best Xbox Series X slash S controllers. So we're going to go from the budget to the oh. best. Um, they do have a lot of, I mean, Xbox owns a lot of controllers. Did you try There's these a out There's a lot yourself, of fantastic Jeremy? controllers. No, 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 no. I've tried some, actually, I have tried some of them. Yes. There's only a few I have not tried, um, on this list. Okay. So, uh, okay. Power A Enhanced Wired Controller. Uh, that's actually the one that I own myself. Um, is the Power A, um, go. really good controller. You can change faceplates on it, change the rings on it. You can ch customize them. Like all of these Xbox controllers can pretty much be customized. Um, next on the list is Razer Wolverine V2. I was contemplating buying this one. I did check it out in the store, um, and I watched a lot of reviews on it. Um, the Wolverine, the Razer Wolverine controller is actually pretty cool. It's pretty close to looking like an Xbox controller. But, I mean, that's, that's what everything's good. going for. Look as similar as they can. Uh, third up is the Thrustmaster eSwap X Pro. Thrustmaster. I mean, Thrustmaster is really known for their, um, their wheels and stuff. So, they got good wheels. Yeah, I mean, the controller on this has so many customization options. They literally come out in like packs and they, um, like each section, like each, and you can change where you want your, um, your joystick to be. So, like, you know how regular Xbox controller, you have the joystick on the top left and then the D pad right below that. You can actually swap those around if you want and have the joysticks on the two middle ones actually pretty cool that's going for 160 bucks which isn't a bad price all things considered um the razor wolverine let me just give you guys a price here is 70 bucks so you can compare and the power a advanced or enhanced fucked up uh and the enhanced controller is 30 dollars I don't think that's the one I have, though. I think it's similar. I don't know. Probably is. Who knows? It's a good controller, though. Uh, the last one on the list is uh, the Scuffed Instinct Pro. I mean, everybody knows Scuffed, so... It's obviously the best controller. No. Scuffed has been one of the best controllers out there for ages. You can customize them so much... You can just do anything. Scuff controller. You can have a modded scuff controller. It's just the best. The best of the best. That's why the price tag is the best of the best. $230. That's cheap, though. No. I mean, if you're a, if you're a 100% controller player, that's all you play as on this controller, it, it's definitely worth the investment. For sure, yeah. Exactly. All right, moving on to the next fun thing. Fun dabby do. I lost my Tetris game for those of you that are concerned for me. I lost. But back to PlayStation because I love PlayStation. <laughs> PS5 is going to get folders. Not manila folders, not like filing cabinet folders, but like desktop folders. Like you can like the PS5 had. Or the PS3. Yeah. The PS5, huh? Yeah, PS5. No, uh, PS3. And support for 1440p. Can they actually push decent frames at 1440, though? That's the question. We're going to find out. Although In... most modern TVs have 1080p or 4K, 1440p matters because most of new gaming monitors these days are the new resolution. 
So it's good to see that they're adding support for something that probably should have already had support for it. But it's PS5, um, so it, yeah, it definitely should have already had it when it released. But it's just like we talked about last episode. They, they wanted to push it out real quick. Yeah, and they rushed it. Yep. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's still not bad. I mean, I wish, like I said, I wish they would have done this sooner, but good to see that they're finally making progress in the right direction, for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, next is something Jacob got very interested in. She's a big fan girl. So Bitch, what the fuck? I'm gonna have, I'm gonna let right. him. Whatever, whatever, bro. Don't even talk to me. I don't even know who you are. What are you Next talking up about? Is, uh, something called Dead Drop. What do you mean? Don't um, talk to me. Don't talk to me. Why? Dead Drop, which, as you can see, has a really badass logo, actually. Um, but it is something that is uh being funded and sponsored by Doctor Disrespect. It's kind of his own take on a popular FPS game. Um, he hates Warzone. He hates tarkov he hates where most games these days are sitting so he has chosen to um make something of his own um there has been a snapshot which has released which has only given like a little bit of movement some basic aiming and one gun nothing extreme um but people have delved into this at this point in time um so little jeremy is showing a little bit of here um the graphics actually in this game look really good i mean the people that were playing it said that there was a little bit of stuttering issues. I mean, they're not um, bad. Definitely not bad. The the graphics quality is actually kind of impressive. Um, for I mean, it, it's where it should be for games that are coming out these days. But I mean, just looking at like all the effects and the detail on stuff that doesn't need all this detail. Um, but it's good to see that they are diving into it. Um, I hope the gun mechanics get a little bit of a rework. I mean, the, they, the impacts and all that looks good, but the iron sights in some of these guns make me want to beat my head with oh, a they're brick. they're weird. They're really weird. It's like you have the whole gun in front of your face. Yeah, and the recoil seems a little interesting. I mean, it seems realistic. Kind of reminds me of the Tarkov. Right. With the, you know, the recoil system, but definitely looks cool. It's going to be an extraction-style game. Go in, do stuff, loot whatever leave not very much has come out it's going to be kind of like a battle royale extraction kind of like Tarkov, basically yeah last man standing right um no idea when this is going to come out it's in very early early stages but i think they just wanted to get some stuff out because dr disrespect has really been pushing this and has been shitting on every other game that's out there I mean, he's been known I mean, for that it, for years, but he has stated that it. modern, and I quote, Modern Warfare 2 has nothing, Modern Warfare's trailer, the new trailer that we showed last episode, has nothing on a screenshot from his game. So he, he basically said that the trailer that they released for Modern Warfare 2 that is coming out in October doesn't even compare to a screenshot from his game. Which I don't, so, I'm sorry, but I, I said don't believe that. It's kind of interesting. Um, I, I don't necessarily think I could. I mean, the graphics good. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, pretty high words. I th But then again, Dr. Disrespect, is a, he, he plays games. I mean, he doesn't develop them. So, I mean, it, it's one of those things where, I mean, does he really know what he's talking about? Yeah, right. Sense? Exactly. Or is he just saying it to be Dr. Disrespect? No Dr. hate to him. But, but... Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, looks like a cool game. I guess we'll see. But, I mean, it looks like a fun, interesting game. Definitely be something we'll probably check out in three years, but, you know. Three forgot. years? You really think it's going to take that long? I mean, you got to think they just re did basic, basic mechanics and maps not done and all that shit. So, that, I mean, they got a lot of ways to go. Oh, yeah, they of course. They, they have a long yeah. way to go. But I, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. How lo the pro Problem is, we don't know how long it's been developed already. That's fair. This is true. I mean, but based off the of what we're seeing here, I mean, this they've could, only got one gun. and Well, this could be just yeah. from, like, when they first started. That's true. Could be an old video. Right. Or old snapshot, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, true. So, yeah, that's what we got for gaming news this week and for the future. I'm mean, gonna be honest. I really like the map, though. I mean, just the style looks really cool. 
I'm a huge fan of the art style, but again, it's too early to really make a valid comparison between this and a game that's going to release in two months. So right, exactly. It's re- it's really hard to compare something so early to something like COD that's been around for years and it's a multi-billion-dollar company. Right. I don't know. We shall see, though. I guess. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's where most of these things are going to be. Yeah. So, we're going to go over some new games. Uh, just going to go quick through a few of these, because some of them we've talked about already um, in the past or previously in this episode. Um, first, we have The Mortuary's Assistant. This one, I was actually, like, I actually really liked the way this one looked. Um, it is a horror game, um, single player horror game, single player, of course. But it looked kind of cool. <laughs> it had a bunch of puzzles. You could do interesting things. You do what you do in a morgue, I guess. It's the whole premise, but it's also a horror game. So you're trying to do your job while also trying to avoid the horrors that come with the uh. Cool concept for sure. Yeah. Uh, This is coming to PC August 2nd. So, tomorrow, everybody. Tomorrow. I'm sorry, I don't have a price for you, though. So, sorry, you don't know today what the price is. But you'll know tomorrow. tomorrow. You'll know tomorrow. Exactly. It's on Steam. Check it out. Check check, it out. Check it out. Next up, we have Froggen. If I'm pronouncing that right or wrong, um, it is coming to PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. XX uh, Series X? XX Series S. Yes, sir. Um, join Renta as an adventure across a world of mystical ruins with the true titular Frogan. Frogan is an old school platform with the soul of the PS1 slash Nintendo 64 era um, in which your frog shaped grappling hook is your best friend. So, like a platformer, run around, dodge, escape, roll, not really roll, Attack, but, you know, explore. Fight. Yeah, all these, these A lot different of these concepts. games that we've heard coming out are kind of still keeping this older art style, yeah. which is kind of interesting. It really is. There's a lot of them that are still doing that. Mm-hmm. Looks cool. Cool concept, for sure. It'd be interesting to see what happens with it, but um, don't have a price for you, but it also does release August 2nd, tomorrow, so... Check it out if it's something you're interested in. Available wherever you get your video games. All platforms. All of them. All of them. Including Switch. Even yeah. you guys. Yeah. So, uh, next we're going to do South of the Circle. This is also I coming really out. I'm excited for this one. Yeah. Um, so, it, it's like a cool Firewatch-style game. game. South of the Circle is an emotional narrative mm-hmm. experience. Exploring the relationship between Peter and Clara. We talked about this last we- week. Um, mm-hmm. it is a single player adventure game, the narrative style, like Firewatch has kind of the similar, um, graphics to he it. Says, having not played Firewatch. No, I have not. Well, yes, I have. I've played oh? about 20 minutes of it and then played anywhere after that. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't, don't come at me right now. You're a disgrace. I'm not... Get off, get off, my... get off. Get off my screen. I, I can't I can't no. with you right now. I can't even deal with oh, you. Oh, shush. But yes, South That's of Circle crazy. comes out August 3rd, so check it out. comes out on every platform. PC, PS3. No, PS4. Why is it PS3? PS3? No, ye- ye- PC, PS4, PS5, <laughs> Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and the Switch. So check out the game in two days. Two days. Uh, next up, we have Camp Canyonwood. Uh, build and manage a struggling summer camp to restore its former glory. Each summer, teach new campers activities like fishing, archery, and more, while protecting the fri- or protecting them from dangers, natural and supernatural. Dun, dun, dun. Keep campers happy to earn funds for improving the, surf- the campground until it's better than ever. Uh, it's a simulation style game or sim game. I oh, kind of like the Sims, kind of like City Skyline, kind of like your old school Facebook games, wherever the hell you want to compare it to. Right. Um, is only coming to PC and it is an early access game. Um, you know, the graphics look exactly like, um, um, 
don't starve together. Yeah, true. They really do. It's kind of interesting, because I figured it'd be like an overlooking game, but it's you actually have a character, which is kind of interesting. Right, and you can customize them. Yeah. Whoa. Ho. Somebody got to make money somehow. Yeah. It's comparable to Satisfactory, which Jeremy still didn't buy even after no, we stop. advertised the game. It's crazy. It. And a Farming yet. Sim 22. I'll, I'll buy it know. when it goes on sale. If I, I, still have to buy, I still have to buy Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2. So do you, actually. Yeah, I haven't bought Modern Warfare 2 either. Yeah. I need to. I'm going to buy it at the end of this week. I need to. Uh, next up is next. Played Up. Played Up. Obviously from the Order game, up. it is a cooking game. Uh, another management sim game uh, where you have your own um, like restaurant and you cook the dishes. Um, it dishes? Isn't... The dishes. <laughs> cook the dishes. Cook the dishes. Cook the fishes. No, not fishes. the fishes, the, the dishes. Oh, okay, dishes. Um, you can play the demo now. It does come out August 4th. Um, it does come out only for PC, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Uh, cook and serve your dishes, design and decorate your restaurant. Expand your culinary kingdom with new unlocks, abilities, and dishes in the product. Oh, procedurally generated locations. Classic cooking uh, actions with permanent. Oh, oh, roguelite? The graphics on this game kind of suck. I still don't know what roguelite means. Roguelite I like how all the char- every every single character looks the exact fucking same. Well, the great the the cool thing about this game is uh it's online co-op. So you can hire wow. friends to work in your restaurant. I would never hire you to work in my restaurant, Jeremy. Wow. That's that's rude. with all with all due disrespect. Ooh. That's rude. Don't care. All right, next up, we have Hindsight. This actually looks kind of like a fun game, single player, typical. Uh, but if the physical objects of everyday life, the possessions we hold close, like this here controller, were actual windows to the past. Interesting. What is the past of this controller? Uh, peer into distant memories and unseen futures in Hindsight. Kind of a cool name, actually. Uh, doesn't have a price on it just yet, which is interesting. A lot of games have been doing that, and I'm not really sure why. But I know. Regardless, I guess. Um, to be announced does come out August 4th. That's three days. Three days from now. Well, that's the funny uh, part, is they used to... Games used to give you, like, the opportunity to, like, pre pre-order order it. Or you just pre-buy it, so when it comes out, you can install it. It automatically downloads the right. night before it releases or whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's not that hard. They don't, you don't see they... much of that anymore. No, not at all. Yeah. So uh, it releases on PC Switch, which is a weird one, uh, and iOS. So we usually don't talk That's about iOS games, one. but um, does come out on iOS, not Android, just iOS. So for you Apple fangirls, that's me coming to you. Um, so yeah, check it out if you're interested in any single player adventure game exploring the past it does look like it has a cool art style so check it out yeah kind of looks like um that was a circle their style yeah mm -hmm. um so i'm just gonna go over this next one i am not very interested in uh talking about this but it's called kokoro clover season kokoro. uh season plop one. down on the couch in your comfiest pajamas grab a big bowl of cereal and prepare to enter kokoro a 2d platformer inspired by Sunday morning Japanese anime shows of the past. Transformations, cards, dancing, and robots. Let's find out what this wonderful world has in store. Uh, this comes out on August 3rd in two days. So check it out if you're interested or in don't. these 2D platformer, girly-like... Platformer, yeah. Girly-like platformer. Anime style. Really like platformer. Single player. Next up, uh, we have Hard West 2. Available only on PC as of August 4th. Uh, no price again, because why would we give you prices? Um, it is a journey to the heart of darkness in you the American now. West. Take Looking control of a supernatural things. posse and catch the mysterious the ghost train. Outsmart, outcheat, and outgun your enemies in this turn-based tactics game. 
pat. It's kind of interesting. It's a, it's a tactics game, but then it's single player, which sucks. But. Yeah, I know. That really sucks. It looks that like an interesting game if it were multiplayer. Yeah, it, it really does. It doesn't look like a bad game. I mean, it's it just, kind of it kind of reminds me of For the King, but like 3D and um, in the Wild West. Yeah. Cowboys. Oh yeah. Uh, it comes I mean, out August. It would August. definitely be a cool little. I don't know. It reminds me of, like those old online like flash games, like the zombie apocalypse flash games or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I can see that. So it kind of is interesting that it's single player only, but right. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Whatever. I know what you mean. Yeah. So there we are. Yeah. The Hard West Two. Hard West Two. And uh, like we talked about earlier, Turbo Golf Racing, the Rocket League golfing game, uh, comes out for PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and S. Sorry, PlayStation fans. It just ain't for you. And that comes out August 4th. So if it sounded interesting to you, check game out. Now something just ain't right here. What's not right? Next one up, we have Retreat to Enon. Yep. So, uh... It's, uh, the year is 3600 CE. After narrowly avoiding extinction, humanity turns away from war and strife, choosing life and peace. Time for you to undertake the rite of passage, journey to the legendary Enon, explore, forage, hunt, build, and meditate to finish the rite and find your place in the world. Um, kind of interesting that it says coming August 1st, 2022. August 5th. But that's not what Steam says. Steam says oh, August 1st, okay. well, the, 2022. It may have changed the date. Interesting. So yeah, coming August 1st. So at the time of listening, it's not here. But, you know, whatever. August 5th is what Jeremy said it said before. So maybe they just didn't change it. Who knows? But looks like an interesting game. Also single player. Well, they may, um, have, kind of they reminds... may be releasing it early because they're done. Yeah. Not sure. It actually looks like a kind of a cool game, actually. All, all things like it graphics reminds me of wise, all the kind of cool. survival games. Yeah. It's an above ground find... subnautica. Yeah, you have to find all the material, build the things. Mm -hmm. You can still go fishing, Explore. hunting, all yeah. that normal, it, normal stuff. But it actually has a story behind it, which is kind of cool. Right. Oh, but here in the trailer it says August fifth. Right, that's what I'm saying. So maybe they released it early. Weird, weird. weird. But that's for PC. Uh, Steam and Epic Games comes out August 5th. At least what it says. Steam also says August 1st. So they could be getting it earlier. <laughs> but PS5 and Xbox Series X are getting it next year. Later. But at least they're still getting it. Absolutely. At least you're getting it eventually. That's the whole goal here. Yeah. That's, that's so, all we ever want. Um, one of our last segments here before we wrap this up is um, our weekly game review. Um, so we'll talk a little bit briefly, but um, if you want a little bit more in-depth of funny moments, some laughs, um, scares, spoiler, <laughs> um, you can go check out our YouTube channel or our website, wherever you'd like to get there. Um, but it will be posted live on our YouTube channel in this coming week um, to check it out if you want a little bit more information. Um, there will be a little bit of spoilers because it is a story game, so unfortunately that's just hard to avoid. But if you're interested and you want to check it out, uh, check it out on our YouTube channel. Uh, the game in question is actually a game that I, I can't remember. I think Jeremy had stumbled upon it at some point. Um, it's called Labyrinthine. I've slaughtered it even in the video. Trust me, this is a struggle. Um, so it's a it's a co op horror game um, where you play with friends and try to survive. No. And no, I'm sorry, Jacob. You are uh, kind of wrong here. Um, you're skipping into back back in the episode. We talked about this last week. We just want to let you talk about this. Yes, last week? we did. Um, the we oh just, my he, god! What he's trying to say is that was um, last week. Yes, definitely that's check out the video that's going up on our YouTube check soon. Check it out. Um, you'll see check a little more in depth from last week. This week we're actually talking oh, right. uh, about Arcadigan. 
Arcade again. Right. Yeah. Duh. That's what I said. What, <laughs> Jeremy? Come on. I was testing you. It was a joke. Come on. I got you. Arcade again. All right. Here it is. Sorry, guys. It was a troll. I apologize. I forgot. It's been a long week. Okay. Anyways. Okay, to get in. So, uh, as we talked about a little bit last, there like a couple episodes ago about what the game is. Um, it is a like a event adventure PvP PVE kind of game. Um, Jeremy and I did play it. Um, not really a spoiler. We for enjoyed this one. it. Um, definitely enjoyed it. Was it. A fun game. Definitely was a very fun game. It was definitely fun to chill out and play um, after raging on Apex. Um, so there cool are definitely just, like, some changes or... that we we would really like to see. Um, so this game mentions PvP, but the only PvP that Jeremy and I could find, and mind you, we could definitely be wrong, um, is little like three minute, two minute mini games versus me and Jeremy's or whoever we were playing with. So it wasn't like, I don't know, it wasn't what I expected, I guess, which sucks. Um, the game itself is really good. The graphics really, I, I mean, the game ran really smoothly for what it, I mean, it, I was kind of impressed. Oh, I loved um, the, the mechanics of it and just how the, mo- how the movement yeah, how it felt. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I like, it, it was fun. It kind of reminds me of like what my first impression was, uh, was that it reminded me of, um, risk of rain. Um, kind of gives me that vibe kind of in a way right um i i really think and jeremy and i really talked about this um we really believe that there should be some sort of actual pvp the mechanics are there i mean the ability is there it's just i feel like you should be able to actually verse people not just verse hordes of zombies or alien what a creature whatever, whatever they are right so i mean that's our only complaint but all was a it was a fun game i definitely would play it again um i just believe that i mean it's early on they could definitely you know change it up and do what they want with it so yeah i mean if um, you guys want to see some actual like um maybe some footage of it you can actually go to either of our um channels our twitch channels uh twitch.tv slash it's digs or twitch.tv slash glorification. Um, and actually, one of our streams, we did um, play a little bit of it. Um, mm-hmm. So if you want to see some of that gameplay, uh, go check out over there. Um, we may eventually make a video on um, on YouTube for ourselves. Um, yeah. But if you want to just get a little glimpse of it, definitely check out over there. For sure. So, yeah, definitely it was a fun game. Definitely worth the buy if you like Risk of Rain. I think it was actually more fun than Risk of Rain, personally. I enjoyed it more. I don't necessarily know why. It was just, I don't know. It just seemed more entertaining. Yeah. And maybe that's just me, but it was it was fun. Would we'll definitely play again. Check it out if you like that style of game. For yeah, sure. it's, re- it's really a fun game. Um, it was definitely something just to to relax with and not not having mm-hmm. to like rage at things just explore <laughs> and just have some fun mouse you gotta remember the mouse your mouse you mean the broken mouse My mouse. the broken mouse yes rage yeah, yeah rage there's there's rage. your rage right there actually mm-hmm. let me uh let me just reference you guys so we our, our friend group me me jacob and jesse that's those are people that play um most what of the up, time boys? Uh, we all got new mouses uh, within the same period within of the time. past week. <laughs> um, mine, uh, my mouse was disconnecting randomly, and I would just be in a game, and I would just be frozen, and I can only move, but I couldn't look around. So I bought a new mouse. Which is hard. Jesse, mm-hmm. little little more like, like Jacob's situation, flipped the mouse upside down <laughs> and slammed it on his Smash. desk, but. Hey, <laughs> it is what it is. I did that without flipping it, though. Right, and Jacob just has great finger strength where he just snapped the button right off. You know. Snapped it, broke it. You know, it's funny because the new mouse that I got has it all in one piece, too, so we'll see how long this one lasts. Yeah, right? No more raging, <laughs> Jacob. 
I can't make those promises. I play Apex. Yeah, true. <laughs> Just Apex things. Yeah, so definitely. Um, this week's trivia question. How much is Arcadia getting Pigs. right now? I think it was $30. Is I can't remember still? if we got it on sale or not. Yes, it uh, is $30. No, we bought it full yeah. price. Did we? Okay. Yeah. That's how dedicated to reviews we are, guys. We buy games full price. We'll buy any game. Just for you guys. Just for you. Not any game. There there are limits. There are limits. I yes, I guess. Yes. I do understand that. What if what if what if they told us to buy let me let me scroll up and remember the title. <clears throat> Color ca Calico? No, 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 not Calico. Worse than Calico. It was the one you were looking at that you said I didn't want to have to talk about this, but here we are. Oh, Kokoro. Uh -oh. Clover. Kokoro, Clover season. One. Imagine if they had you, like, imagine this is $30 and they're like, can you review this game for me? Hey, maybe I will. It's right. going to be, I'm, I'm sorry though, but it's still going to be an honest review. So if I think it's shit, going in the review. Sorry. It might be a three minute long video. Right. It, it might be loaded up. This game is awful close all f4 that might be like a three minute clip on youtube hey but i'll still buy it for you guys dedication big up jeremy all right so before we end this episode we're gonna go over the trivia question of the week jacob asked me this question and i was dumbfounded i was shocked I actually didn't yeah i didn't know this answer either by the answer of this question the question in question. The question in question is. The question in question about questions. What was the first video game console to be offered by an American company since the Atari? Uh, Atari is kind of old there, folks. So yeah. what one more time. What was the first video game console to be offered by an American company since the Atari? Yes. It's it, it will dumbfound you. It will if you know the answer, let us know on any of our social media, as always. And definitely uh check everything out that we have. Does that make sense? That didn't make any sense to me. That made sense. It made sense to me. Did it make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As long I, as it made sense to you, I guess. I knew what you meant. I knew, okay. what meant. I knew what you meant. And remember, did you hear Frankie? Did you hear him say hello? I did. I did. If, if you did, then let us know when you, when you heard him or when you saw him. And as always, whether you are winning or losing, you can always listen. You guys have a good one.